Hi there, this is Nick again, and I'm going to share with you a couple more tips and tricks for creating your reports in PowerPoint instead of other publishing software like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher. Now, what you see before you on the screen is the document from the first video where we changed the slide orientation from the default of 16 by 9 orientation to a letter size page so that we can work with it like we would a traditional uh, 8.5 by 11 report. So you can see my title is right here. It's just a text box. The first thing I want uh, to show you is how to insert another text box. It's going to be likely that you have a lot of text for your report. Uh, so we want to know how to work with those text boxes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the ribbon here. And right now we're on the home ribbon. And I'm going to click on insert. So when you click insert, you get a bunch of different things that you can insert into the document or into the slide. And I'm going to go over here to the text uh, section right here and then you can see the text box right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on text box and then you can see that my cursor changed uh, changes to this little um, crosshair so we're gonna actually take that we're gonna click the mouse and we're gonna insert a text box to where we want it and I'm just gonna add some spacer text right here <clears throat> just so that you can see that text and you can work with that how you normally would work with any other text. Now, something cool is that if you are creating a report and you weren't exactly sure what you were going to type, but you know that you need a section of spacing, um, you can actually have that lorem ipsum um, sort of gibberish spacing text within any of these text boxes just by typing a uh, quick little formula. So I'm going to delete all that text here, just like you were in Excel. You're going to type equal sign and then lorem and then open parenthesis and close parenthesis and then click enter and you're going to get a bunch of gibberish text right there. It's going to fill the slide. And right now you can see that the font is 18 point font. It's Calibri because that's the default font for Microsoft. So let's um, customize that a little bit. So the font is I don't really want it to be 18 point. I'm going to put it to be 15 point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font from Calibri. So let's do something. Go over here to my font list here. Um, and let's go and try Arial Black, maybe Arial Narrow. Um, that might be kind of an interesting contrast with my title. So I'm going to keep that. And now the thing is, every time I insert a new text box, it's going to go directly to that Calibri font because that's the default. So what I want to do is make sure that every other text box I insert into this document is in the same uh, font that I just did, the Arial Narrow font. So what I can do here is I can actually make this my default text box so that whenever I put in a new text box, it will open in this font. So make sure to activate this text box here after you formatted it. You're going to right click and then you're going to go down to set as default text box right here. Set as default text box. Just click that. And now when I insert a new text box into my slide, let's try it and see if it works. I'm going to insert a new text box and I'll type that same lorem, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, enter. Voila. It looks pretty good. It's not the Calibri. It's my default text, 15 point font and Arial narrow. Pretty cool. So these are just a couple tricks um, that you can learn and on your way to creating your reports in PowerPoint instead of Word. I hope you follow me on Twitter, Nick versus PowerPoint, or subscribe to this video, like it, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll create more of these. Thanks so much.